Nestled on the ground, in the wintry beech forest in the Little Valley, you can find them, the winter aconites of the Rautal in Jena, Germany. The city of Jena is the third largest in its state in central Germany, which is called Thuringia. Honestly. <laughs> and as a dog already said, the name actually is a compound out of a Latin word and a Greek word. And the Greek word basically translates to spring flower and the Latin word to wintry. So it's a wintry spring flower, which totally makes sense because, well, it is. It's one of the earliest growing spring flowers, like Herald of Spring, and usually also grows together with snowdrops, which are really cute. If you want to go check them out, they also bloom in the valley of the winter aconites. And the German word winterling actually basically means the same, it means little winterlings. They grow at the end of winter and that's why people absolutely love it because everything's still drab and dreary in the beech woods. There's just, you know, leaves everywhere and barren trees. And on weekends in mid to late February, you can see the locals flocking into the Tal der Winterlinge, as it is called in German, which also translates to the Valley of the Winterlings. over an area of five hectares and claiming more space every year, you can't really miss the display of glorious yellow spring flowers. It's just so vibrant, it's beautiful. Ah, I love it. Note that the Rautal in Jena is a nature reserve, which means you cannot go and leave the path. It means you cannot take any flowers home and it means you cannot prop your pets or kids on the flowers for a cute photo. But it's totally possible to get amazing photos anyway because they grow as close to the path as possible. And if you position your camera right, work your angles. It is a huge area. Like I said, five hectares. And there's a round path where you can see a bird's eye view onto the valley and go through the valley. It's really easy. It's hard to miss. Hidden Valley in Jena have grown to over 1.6 million in number, making it the largest free growing collection of winter aconites in all of Middle Europe. Just imagine how amazing this is a forest covered entirely in yellow flowers. Just gorgeous. And the little flowers aren't actually native. In the 16th century, it became customary and rather chic to import them as fancy gifts from abroad and display them in gardens. Even today, you can see Germans decorate the flower beds in front and in the back of their houses with the delicate little pops of yellow. They're cute. You know, you can buy them. All parts of the winter aconites are toxic, by the way, so definitely keep children and pets away. Seeing the winter aconites in Jena or the winterling in Jena is definitely worthy of being on your Germany bucket list for spring visits. The region is rather a hidden secret, actually. All in all, I could talk on and on about the beauties of the winterling of the winter aconites in the Rautal in Jena because there's just so many. It's just so cute, it's beautiful. And there's so many other sites in Jena that you can explore, and there's tons of information about the region, what to do, what to hike, what other rare flowers you can see, tons of wild orchids. So go check out the blog, travelonthebrain.net. And don't forget to like, subscribe and follow and actually look at all the previous videos I've done because there's tons of travel information already on here. And I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment if you've got questions and maybe what else you want to see or if you've been to central Germany. I would love to chat and I'll see you around. So stay travel-tastic and bye.